Hey folks and welcome to another video of mine. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Persona 5 Royal on the Xbox Series S. This is available on Game Pass, which is incredible. I mean, Game Pass, the more I think about it, the more I play games on it, the more I appreciate it. How cool is that? Now, it starts off with this very cool introduction scene, which is very, very anime like in fact it is like an anime if you play the game you'll feel like you're part of this anime universe persona 5 royal by the way unfortunately if for some reason the sound or the audio of my game recording did not get recorded now it's a shame because the soundtrack of this game was phenomenal now right at the start you're introduced to a very funk type theme and i love funk and by the way if you're into funk as well I um, want to recommend Scary Pockets on YouTube. It's a channel that you can check out. They've got some very good funk cover versions of very popular tracks. So I highly recommend them. So it starts off with this really great looking, uh, you could say, intro. And um, every time I look into an intro, which is really good, I'm kind of reminded of the good old days when um, as a child, if we had the opportunity to take a look at any of these Japanese animes, then we would always look forward to the intros. The reason being, the soundtrack. The intros, they had some of the coolest, um, you could say, audio tracks that I can think of when it comes to these uh, animes. Uh, I remember one by Hajime Chitose called Kata Ritsugu Koto. I know I'm not pronouncing it right, but hey, that was a very, very cool intro animation and also intro song so these introductions in Jan japanese animes they always have a cool song to go along with it and that's what i really liked about them and it's a shame that the audio did not get recorded but right after the introduction you are taken into this uh, very, again very japanese anime style cutscene and that's what i like about these anime based games and i love them by the way uh, because of the art direction. Now, it's very different to most of the Netflix animes that come up. And the reason why I'm particularly mentioning Netflix animes is because I think most of them have a typical style. Yeah. They, they follow more uh, of this 2.5D or a 3D-esque look to even 2D animes. So even if you're making something off of a 2D Japanese anime, they will 2.5D it or they will 3D-esque it. You know what I'm saying? So it kind of takes away from the original experience or the original intent. But this game, it starts off with this cool cutscene where you are the uh, protagonist of the game. And um, you're simply known as the Phantom Thief in this case. In my playtime, I didn't get to know the name of the protagonist. By the way, Persona 5 is a pretty old game. Let me just give you some information about the game before I start off. and. Before I get into this video, I would also like to mention that uh, number one, the audio track is missing of this game. Number two, there might be some background noise because it's Diwali time here in India and there are a lot of firecrackers going on in the background. I'll try to cut them off as much as I can, but hey, I can only do so much here. Yeah? So I hope you understand that and I appreciate your support in advance. Now, this game starts off with uh, a little bit of a hand holding where it's more like a tutorial. You are told by this mysterious voice what to do, where to go, etc. And it acts like a tutorial as well. So people who are playing a Persona 5 game for the first time, me included, I am surprised that I didn't play this game because once I started playing this game, man, I had a great time. Okay, so let me get into it. Now, the reason why Persona 5 Royal is such a great game to start off this series with is because it handholds you in the beginning and um, it kind of gives you the feeling that you don't really need to know this universe you immediately get attached to it i mean the narrative that they have here is something that you can become familiar with immediately so even if you haven't played any of the other games like me in this case i think you shouldn't have a problem enjoying the game and i completely enjoyed it by the way i'll tell you what i even remember the time i started playing this year at 7 15 i put this on with a mindset like any of my other video game videos that hey i'm just gonna play this for 20 25 minutes i'm gonna just commentate on it and that's about it but i did not want to put my controller down even at 9 pm that's almost two hours into the game that's how good the story was of this game now this game 
I, I'm going to get to the story bit in a short bit, but hey, it starts out by hand holding you. Like I said, all of this is more like a tutorial, to be honest. And um, it gives you an introduction to the battle system, which is a turn-based action RPG. In this case, a Japanese turn-based game. And personally, I'm not a fan. I don't enjoy turn-based um, RPGs. In fact, that's one of the reasons as to why I kind of shoved this away when it originally came out. And if you don't already know, this was also released on the PlayStation 3. Yeah. So when it came um, out in, say, about 2016, let me just check that up for you. I have the uh, wiki page also here. So I'll just read from there as well. It was released for the PlayStation 3 and the PlayStation 4 in Japan in September 2016 and worldwide in April 2017. So, man, this game is actually quite old, but trust me, when I played this on my Xbox Series S, it did not show its age. So, even if it did come out originally in 2016, it has aged like fine wine. Now, Persona 5 Royal, the version that I'm currently playing, was released for the PlayStation 4 in Japan in October 2019 and worldwide in March 2020. So, they had this thing going where they release it in Japan first and then um, worldwide. So. It was only on the PlayStation consoles originally, but it finally got released on the uh, on the Xbox Series X, S, Nintendo Switch, and um, also on Windows or your PC. And it has come to Game Pass in October 2022. And I am playing this because, hey, when games come up on Game Pass, right, even if they are games which are like turn-based <laughs> action J JPR JRPG, I don't mind playing them because hey, it's included in the price, yeah? So I don't pay anything extra for it. So the reason why I didn't pick it up was because I was not fond of turn-based Japanese RPGs. But this, I'll tell you what, I'll make an exception when it comes to this game because this game really nails it in all of the other departments. The story that they're telling in this game, it hooks you on from the word go. Now, apart from maybe the first five or 10 minutes that you're playing into this game, Apart from that, it's like a roller coaster ride. It is so well paced for a story. And the reason why I'm saying well paced and I'm not saying fast paced is because you need to take your time. It, it kind of gives you the permission to enjoy this universe. It allows you to enjoy this universe and um, do that. There is a lot of time management as well in this game that you're going to be doing. And uh, what do I mean by time management? Like you're going to do um, various activities like setting up your room cleaning up your room you even have your mobile phone you're gonna look at that you're gonna hop onto train stations travel um and um you have to spend time effectively in fact down the line from what i've read but i've not experienced this yet but you even have to study you have to eat food with your friends you have to spend time with your friends etc so it's a very unique game where time management is given importance and i really felt the um you could say the importance of that in my first couple of hours, almost a couple of hours, you could say. And again, this is a game that I thought I would only play for 20 to 25 minutes. That's because it's a turn-based title. And as you can see here, you have a couple of options. If I have more than a couple of options when it comes to your turn-based battle, you can attack, you can uh, defend yourself, and then you can use special moves as well. Uh, depending on the persona that you're controlling and you will come across various characters as you progress in the game and each of them will have a persona like you as the protagonist of the game the phantom thief you have your persona just like that you will come across other supporting cast and um, all of them in my short time with the game they seem really interesting and it's not like it's not like these characters have just been written just for the sake of it, you know, you, you get invested in these characters. Now, this scene here, and I'm fast forwarding, by the way, because I just wanted to add in a few points here. This scene kind of reminded me of The Matrix. The first time that um, Neo meets Agent Smith, it, it did have those kind of vibes a little bit, although the characters are completely, completely different. However, I, I could say there's some kind of a similarity because there is this dream sequence. So it's like, you know, waking up, in the real world versus the simulation. So even in this, you know, you have this dream aspect where you are drawn into this dream world and um, where uh, it's interesting. I'll just say that. I don't want to spoil too much as well. That's why what I've done is I've moved forward in the game 
and it tells a great story through these 2D cut scenes or 2.5D cut scenes whatever you want to call it and also this in game or these in game cut scenes like it'll ask you to go back and revisit what happened to you like go back to the past and when that happens as well you'll see the clock moving back or the clock moving forward or when 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 you finally come into the future because it has a lot of back and forth in terms of uh, uh, how the story is narrated so it's not just linear like in one timeline it happens in the past the present and uh, maybe even the future <laughs> so it's 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 incredible the way they've told the story in this game that is what hooked me really i mean i was so invested in these characters that I'm going to play this game even more now and that is really surprising for me because there is not a single turn based role playing game that I have ever been interested to play not not a single one this one is the exception and I'm not exaggerating I'm just sharing what I felt in the first couple of hours now that's how good this game is no wonder it's got such great ratings and no wonder it has such a big fan following I always used to wonder you know hey what's it with uh, you know persona 5 now when i've played it finally i kind of realized and it's a bummer that i didn't play this earlier i'm embarrassed like some of the videos that i make where i confess that i haven't played some of the uh, great titles i think this definitely deserves the title of being a great game and ign rated it when it when the persona 5 royal came out i think it gave it a 10 on 10 like a masterpiece rating and uh, i would agree with that i would totally agree with that i don't agree with all of ign's ratings because sometimes they really don't get what the game or even the movie is trying to say for instance i saw black adam very recently and ign rated it 5 ign rated she hulk 8 and i don't get it at all as to how she hulk deserves an 8 and black adam deserves a 5 on 10 because i thought black adam was great by the way if you haven't checked it out in the movie theaters already i would highly recommend but instead of digressing let me come back to this video game and um this is the dream sequence that i was talking about so you're in this dream world as well so there are you could say uh some kind of a common element with the matrix as well because it tells the story of two worlds yeah the simulation and also the reality so here you are in this dream world and then you have the reality as well and in fact you will get into another world altogether where you have these palaces and from what i've read you know you have multiple palaces not just one so i've just in my first couple of hours been introduced to one and i'm very inter- interested to find out how the two others pan out now I don't know if you agree with me but this guy kind of reminds me of uh, Humpty Dumpty meets Kingpin <laughs> if or even the penguin so it's like a combination of Humpty Dumpty the penguin and uh, the kingpin uh, let me know if you feel the same as well so this is the uh, sequence that I was talking about I literally felt like I was traveling using the you could say the metro rail system that's what that's what we call it here uh, so I I felt like I needed to see the signboards I needed to change tracks and or you know these lines basically when you travel through these uh, uh railway systems these different lines are there and you need to change it so even if you've been to like Thailand if you come to India when you go to Delhi and all you have to change lines so that's what it had me doing and this felt so for for some weird reason although I know that this is an anime and it looks like an i mean it is an anime based game but it felt so real it felt like i was there i it felt like i needed to go here or there and look at those sign boards so it was very organic is what i can say and this is what i mean to say that this game it needs you to use your time effectively or efficiently because uh, if you make mistakes then um you can have consequences now i don't exactly know because i've only played this for 2 hours but i also want to know and for those of you who have played this game maybe you can let me know in the comment section as to how do your decisions impact the story because i haven't even read about it whether your decisions impact the storyline or not i mean what you say what you choose because you do have options that you as the protagonist can choose from so i'm interested to find out if that is the case it would be great if there are um you know different consequences of your actions of your choices 
I don't know that yet, but yeah, you do have different dialogue options that you can choose from. Now, this is the persona bit that I was talking about. So this is the first time that you're introduced to your persona. And um, I mean, the animation is top notch and nowhere in the story would you feel like this is dragging, at least not in the first two hours. I felt that it was just the right pacing because if you go too fast, then you would feel like the story is rushed. And if you're too slow, it becomes boring. I'm saying that this is absolutely perfectly timed. I mean, perfect pacing is what I could say in this case. And um, when a game or a story or a movie is paced well, yeah, you get time to know the character. You get time to know their backgrounds. You get time to know what they're doing, their motivations, etc. And uh, the situation or the scenario that they are in it allows you to feel for that character and that's exactly what this game has successfully done it introduces you to the main protagonist and also the supporting cast and you get so much information about them as well like ryuji you've got information about him as well so even in the future if i come across him i know what kind of a character he is then you know there are other characters as well like this um uh you would say this pe teacher I forgot his name or it is but um yeah so you know what kind of a character is he you know like he's a pervert <laughs> and um you also have a character who's more like a reporter and you will come across her as well so you know she's really serious and um she is um honest she wants to bring the truth out and uh she will fight for it yeah so you're immediately invested in these characters and you know i mean they've been very well written so this was the guy that i was talking about yeah Kamushida, the PE teacher, the pervy PE teacher. And this is the time movement. Look at it. I mean, how it's moving. Yeah. So this is how the game tells that story. And it's so beautifully done. It goes back and forth between the past and the present. And this is what is great. And the game, when it starts off here, yeah, you're introduced uh, into the story, which is actually a mystery. So it's a mystery that you're introduced uh, to. And that's why you want to keep on going. You want to know what happened. The way the interaction happens between, say, Nijima and the protagonist, you want to unravel what's going to happen. And that is what is so excellently done here in Persona 5 Royal. I mean, they've really hit the ball right out of the park, I would say. And um, that's what kept me going, the, mis the mystery element. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy it as well. But I believe, you know, this is where I've wrapped today's video. Off. I can go on and on about this game. I mean, this is a very well-written game. The characters are great. The characterization is great. The anima animation is fantastic. The soundtrack, brilliant. Absolutely mind-blowing. And uh, it's a shame that the audio didn't get recorded on this one. I apologize for that. But hey, do let me know what are your thoughts about this game. If you've played this game, if you like this game, let me know in the comment section. I am playing this for the first time. So uh, I may not be the best person to comment on it. But I would love to hear your thoughts if you've played this game. And that's why we have this community. Yeah, We could come together and talk about a game that we like or even dislike. And let us know the reasons why we like or dislike that game. So that's it for this video, folks. Hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you've liked the content, I would greatly appreciate it if you could hit that like and subscribe button. And also that bell icon in case you want to get notified with all my latest videos. Now, I do make videos like this of gameplay and even comparison videos. Apart from that, I also do some tech reviews, etc., on my channel. And without fail, I always uh, release a video on every Wednesday and Sunday of the week. Apart from that, I also release videos on other days, but Wednesday and Sundays is like a regular um, video release of mine. So tune in if you'd like to see more of my videos. And this is where I say it's a wrap for this one. And I will see you lovely folks in my next video. Until that time, I would say keep on gaming, guys. Happy gaming. And um, take care, stay safe, and finally, may God bless you all.